This is the future. This is the future. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, what we're doing today is we're looking at the clutch. This car's clutch has been kind of slipping for me. I'm struggling to get it uh, into gear. Uh, we got the fifth gear right a few days ago. But if you can see here, uh, as far as the other YouTube videos that I've seen, your pedals are supposed to be almost at the same height and this one is way higher than it's supposed to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, well, adjust this back more to bring the cable forward because I think that's where it's supposed to touch or actually to the back yeah, it's supposed to go back, but let me see what I can do. Okay, now I know the clutch has to be replaced, the clutch plate. The whole kit is stuffed. I can release my foot totally, and I can accelerate. But the car's not going anywhere. As you guys can see, the car's not going anywhere. By the time you watch this video, I would have had gotten some money, and I would have been able to get the clutch kit. Good morning, guys, and we are back today is the removal of this gearbox so that we can do the clutch plate and uh, this is a few days later after I did the first test when you guys saw this car doesn't move anywhere the clutch is slipping terribly it's now I think four days later so um, we're going to take out this gearbox hopefully not break everything <laughs> break anything and hopefully not injure anything we're gonna try and get into the places we need to get into so that we can uh, remove certain clips and cables and wiring and brackets and all that so what I've done so far this morning I'm just getting my tools ready there's the new clutch kit I bought uh, two new trestles because I have to have an extra one to support the engine while the other two support the car and I also have my toolbox ready and uh, we've got the other tools inside that white uh, box there so uh, let's take it slow we've got two days actually we've got five days but I'm working night shift on Friday and Saturday so I don't want to be at work night shift and then come back and still have to struggle with this thing. I want this car up and running before the 1st of September, so uh, let's, take, uh, let's take our time and see how, how it goes, okay? Awesome. We're going to start off with the first thing. We're going to disconnect the battery. Remember safety first. We don't want someone to mess around or the engine to crank or anything while we are working at the gearbox. So. It's always good practice just to disconnect the battery um, you know, isolate, 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 it keeps you safe. The next step will be to remove the two front wheels and then we'll carry on from there. Positive terminal, battery, disconnected. Vehicle, safe. wheel caps off now we will start to just loosen them a little bit just to break the tension attention guys please loosen the main nut in the middle as well before you remove everything you'll see why in a bit thank you then I'm going to lift the car put the trestle remove the wheel just want to mention as well that I did put two bricks at the back of the wheels so that the car doesn't move backwards and the handbrake is up. I had to add a little bit of height to the jack because of the um, angle that the car is standing at. But there we are. The car is supported underneath by the trestle. 
the wheel is loose so we can remove the wheel now as an added safety bonus I put the wheel underneath the car if something happens to the threshold and the car falls it will fall on top of the wheel giving me space to lift up the car again at least <sighs> the big job now well, the next thing is to make space to get this gearbox out so we have to remove this out of the way because it's gonna fall on top of this you have to get the CVs out you have to remove the calipers you have to remove the whole assembly you have to remove the whole ball joint system so that everything on this side must go bye bye to remove the brake calipers simply undo this bolt and at the bottom is another one okay so the socket that you need for the bolts um, where's the bolts now? so the socket that you need that holds the brake calipers is a T55 torx screw and once you've got them out all I did is I took a cable tie and I am hanging it on top of the spring now that the calipers is off I can see that I'm gonna have to replace this disc at one point see the difference in thickness the side is almost smooth smoothly eaten away and the other side has got a big ridge on this side which means I'm gonna have to eventually replace the two front discs for now we're going to loosen the bolt that holds the bearings once this bolt is out we should be able to well then at least the whole hub is loose then I will see I think I will have to disconnect the ball joint there to move it we'll see now let me first loosen this too okay guys I was just a big idiot now I would honestly recommend watching the entire video before you start following me step by step okay so what happened now is I have to loosen this bolt <sighs> please do this before you take off the wheel and before you take off the brake pads because I just noticed now the whole shaft keeps on turning sorry about that I apologize I was not thinking about that so what I did now to prevent it I just put the wheel back temporarily with two bolts I took out the jack so the car can stand on the wheel and then I loosened the nuts so just do that from the beginning okay thanks guys okay guys the next thing to loosen is this lower control arm you have to take this out and then uh, just to swing it loose and then we're going to loosen these two bolts so we can get this whole um, unit out of the CV uh, if you can see better from the side this bolt over here that one we're going to loosen this one now and see if we can get this lower control arm out and then we're going to swing this whole section should just swing away okay guys I've honestly seen other guys just take it out and move it out of the way for me it didn't work so I loosened these two bolts to take out the entire assembly I pulled it out of the way and then this prop shaft or drive shaft sorry drive shaft I just yanked it a couple of times hard and it popped out so it's out at the moment back there it's out and uh, now I just have to do exactly the same thing on the other side yeah my caliper came loose so it's lying on the arm so let me see if I can do this successfully on the other side hey okay, guys as you can see this front drive shaft came out and it actually came out quite quite easily the same method as the other side pulled a bit on it and it came out this however was a bit of a struggle but I got it out anyway now I have a suspicion I'm gonna have to remove this arm totally because as you can see the gearbox is right on top of this arm and if I want to drop or lower the gearbox to the ground this is gonna be an issue so I think while I'm here I have to remove those two bolts and then 
under here those bolts over there then we can maybe just lower this out of the way so that um, when we lower the gearbox this won't be an issue so let's do that next okay guys what I'm going to do now I'm going to remove this clutch cable then just here is the reverse switch wire then up there I don't know if you can see that there down there is the um, speedometer cable and then it's the links on the gearbox that needs to come off that should be everything from the gearbox then all I'm left with is the mounting so let's just do that okay guys I had to unfortunately remove the entire torsion bar because I didn't have space for myself to get underneath the car the car is still a little bit on the low side so I had to remove everything in front for me to get a space to go in here I will now try and loosen up the bolts on the bell housing from the other side okay guys, seems to me like I'm done um, the place where this uh, bracket goes on to it mounts on top of the engine itself uh, so basically everything is loose from the gearbox I have loosened all the bolts that hold it although I don't know who worked on this engine last because I've got different size bolts different size heads I'm working with multiple spanners here man uh, only thing I'm going to do now quickly I'm going to get a support underneath the engine so that we can remove this engine mounting and once this engine mounting is out we're going to remove all the bell housing bolts at the bottom leaving us only with the top ones and I think I'm gonna put that one there back and this one this one so we can take them out last okay guys I had to lift this side a little bit more because the engine was too low I couldn't put in my engine support so I had to lift the car actually a bit higher on this side just so that I can get that stand in underneath so our next step now is going to be to remove well either remove or just loosen this engine mounting from the gearbox it's got uh, three bolts holding it once this is loose and the gearbox is basically entirely loose then I'm just going to remove the bottom balancing bolts and then I will leave that one and, and that one in there um, for last um, okay guys so the engine mounting is totally loose everything is loose I literally have two bolts that side and one at the top and I think one at the bottom so this gearbox is hanging now just on three bolts everything else is loose as far as I can see so I'm going to um, uh, remove all the bolts at the bottom now that's on this side of the gearbox uh, on this side everything on that side is out on this side I'm gonna remove all the bolts and that will be my last one to remove and then we'll see what it does let's hope it doesn't fall and break anything that's it guys the gearbox is out it actually came out quite okay it fell out it didn't come out it fell out so there's my clutch I was uh, correct in assuming that the uh, gear linkage is uh, assembled on top of the engine there was nothing behind the starter so I didn't have to worry about that it's just those few bolts that I showed you guys to, to loosen up um, we're gonna see what this looks now tomorrow but I found a problem here's our main culprit Um, like I said it actually fell out I don't have any space from the top to pick it up and, and put it in place and I don't know if I can pick it up from the bottom um, I don't know and you guys know that picking up is, is half the battle <laughs> picking up the picking up the bell housing and getting the shaft to go into the splines that's another problem entirely 
So uh, that's it then for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Hey guys, stay tuned for the next one. You don't want to miss this. The way I put that gearbox back was bloody genius. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there's now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcasts if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be stay taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers